Um, blah, blah, blah. Diggity, diggity. I just wanted to figure out. Hey, 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 how's it going, everybody? Here we go. I'm back. Uh, it's been a little bit. I apologize. It's been a few uh, weeks or a couple weeks since I put out a video. Been really busy just playing catch up. So I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the FC 600 that uh, I was talking about about a month and a half ago. There's a little video that you can check out about that and just give you an idea of what's, what we're doing to this thing since it's a lot of work. There's a lot of work to this thing. It's a very special bike and I'm taking a lot of time and a lot of care to go through the entire thing. So let's give you a little bit of a of once over and show you what we've done. Rebuilt the forks on this sucker because they were completely toast. They were completely empty. The valving was just, it was disgusting how much uh, ridiculous fork oil was stuck in them. And I've got to get that fender back on right now, but let that thing soak. That fender was disgusting too. It had enough fork oil over on this thing, on this left side here. It was just spraying and it was just coated. So the forks have been completely cleaned up really stoked on how well they came out my guy danny was helping me out with this um still doing quite a bit of cleanup there's still quite a bit of stuff it's just mostly rid little residual dirt here and there little it's just a lot of stuff gotta get hands on everything at the moment i'm just trying to clean this wheel up chain lube and uh brake dust and whatnot so as you can see i'm trying to scrape all of this stuff out I'm just trying to scrape all of this grit out of the wheels and stuff so I can clean them up just so that I can make this thing back to what it should be. It's a lot of work getting this thing clean. Now, as soon as I'm done, this wheel obviously is going to be back to uh, back to normal here, but there's a lot of buildup on this thing. I've gone through the carbs already and they're ready to go back in the bike, doing some airbox work to that. And while I was at it, I went ahead and rebuilt the brakes as well. Um, just waiting on brake pads. I'm essentially going through the entire bike and cleaning every nook and cranny of the thing. So every everywhere you see any dirt or grime, any of this is going to get it's going to get removed. It's going to get back to bare metal. Clean everything up. Every little nook and cranny on the thing is going to be touched and hopefully cleaned up as best we can. You know, just little stuff. It's it's little stuff like this that never gets touched, and it's going to. So that's what. Uh, that's what makes a project like this so fun is being able to bring this diamond back to uh, back to a diamond out of the rough shape that it is. Um, so I'm really kind of kind of just having a lot of fun with this one. It's really kind of neat. This this sprocket's completely just nasty. So I just left it soaking and over uh, overnight in WD-40, and uh, it's pretty much coming coming off pretty well just with a little bit of friction here just to give you guys an idea of what I'm working with on these on these wheels and the rear in general of this bike is 30 years worth of this stuff I don't want to scar up the wheel but just getting the bulk of this dirt and grime out of here this is going to be huge on helping me get it cleaned. It's just, it's just nasty. Putting the timing back together, retiming the cams, cleaning everything up top here. We're going to seal it up and uh, torque down some cam caps right about now. Well, there seems to be a good place to stop and uh, give you guys an update as to what we've been doing here. Carbs are on. I've just got the tank resting on there. Um, just kind of chilling, fitting everything on. I still got to get the fender bolted up, uh, put the brake calipers back on. Uh, since they've been rebuilt, I do need to get some brake lines and brake pads. Um, got some spark plugs are on the way. Uh, unfortunately, the boots, the uh, airbox boots, 
are uh, shrunken so bad and hardened so bad, I don't think they're gonna be very pliable to get them back to where we need to get them onto the carburetor. So it's gonna be a rough running bike until we can get that remedy. The really cool things about this bike is that mechanically everything seems to be in good shape. I will, in the next video on this bike, I'll start getting into the new fuel tank, um, swapping over the, uh, the stuff and the parts from the old tank into the new one. It is a brand new in-the-box fuel tank from 1987, um, so it's kind of neat that this can finally get used. I like, I really like getting my hands into stuff that's, that's, that's dirty and it can be brought back to life. Um, this bike's been sitting for so long, you know, obviously we want to make sure that the engine's in good shape, which so far everything checks out. So I don't think that there's going to be any reason why, aside from a couple of things that we're going to fig figure out with the airbox, why this bike wouldn't run uh, perfect when we put it back together. So in a, in a couple of weeks, hopefully, I'll be able to get some video out there of this bike running. Um, so stay tuned, stick around, and thank you again for following and for subscribing. Any new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the feedback and the comments. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time visiting. And thanks again. I'm out of here. I gotta get back to work. I'll talk to you later. Peace.